more now on that fun from last night, the Hollywood Washington mashup that brings out the comedian in chief every year to poke fun at himself and his tormentors in the press with all kinds of stars along for the ride. And ABC's Sarah Haynes was there on the red carpet for her first nerd prom. It's Washington's party of the year when Hollywood comes calling. I feel very honored to be in the presence of the president of the United States, you know. And nothing's off limits. We rolled out healthcare.gov. That could have gone better. <laughs> Especially for President Obama. On the plus side, they did turn the launch of healthcare.gov into one of the year's biggest movies. <laughs> Riffing on the House Speaker. These days, the House Republicans actually give John Boehner a harder time than they give me. Uh, which means orange really is the new black. <laughs> Even Hillary Clinton. You may have heard the other day, Hillary had to dodge a flying shoe at a press conference. <laughs> but headliner comedian Joel McHale delivered the most cutting jokes of the night. It's a genuine thrill to be here in Washington, D.C., the city that started the whole crack-smoking mayor craze. <laughs> New Jersey Governor Chris Christie seemed to be the favorite target. Uh, buckle up, Governor Christie. Excuse me. Extender buckle up. All right. Um... <laughs> But the governor was also the night's best sport, mugging with McHale after the show. The audience Saturday night, a mix of reporters, Washington A-listers, and Hollywood stars. They call it the nerd prom, and we were all access out on the red carpet. Can we do an awkward prom pose? Yeah, of course. Got it. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. totally got it. Yeah. Uzo Aduba, star of Orange is the New Black, summing up Washington's biggest night of glitz and glamour. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous as much as I am like, Giddy. I feel truly giddy about it. It feels like Christmas. Sarah probably stayed up most of the night, but she's here now along with Mark Leibovich, who's the chief national correspondent for the New York Times Magazine, author of This Town, the new edition out just in time uh, for the dinner. So Sarah, your first one. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. It was kind of like a crazy dream when you see politicians crossed with celebrities, crossed with journalists. It was like everyone in your world coming together. And Mark, you've parodied it. <laughs> I don't know if I've parodied it. I've certainly criticized it. I mean, we did plan the rollout of the paperback for this weekend specifically. I mean, look, I, I think it's an abomination. I don't go and and I just think that it's... Your paper doesn't go, although Peter Baker got an award last Peter night. Peter got an award, original. and we, we love Peter, and we congratulate him. No, we don't go. Um, but beyond that, I just think that the fact that it's morphed into this extravaganza of two dozen pre-parties and after-parties, we have to ask ourselves, what are we celebrating exactly? You know, Kathleen Parker wrote in the Washington Post this week, it's, it's Washington's annual cocktail of self-love and self-loathing. Exactly. But I wonder, and I, I've been going to the dinners now for, you know, 30 years, and I sense another turn in the dinner, kind of had this big rise where all of Washington and Hollywood are coming together. There's all this glamour. The last couple of years, it does seem like there's a little more pushback to going, to, to recalibrating, going a little bit more to the old days. I would hope so. I mean, I, I think that that's a positive step. I mean, I think basically, I mean, my, my book is about disconnect. It's disconnect between how the country views Washington and how Washington views itself. And this is a classic case of just the bubble world and the unself awareness of spending however millions of dollars over a number of days to you know, to celebrate ourselves. And again, you ask why. And well, Sarah, you quickly also brought up the, the, the roast humor sometimes gets a little uncomfortable. I, I'm not a big roast person. I'm a good-natured sense of humor, and I found myself squirming most of the time. But I did get a few laughs. I love Joel McHale. He was very funny. Thank you both very much. Thanks.